lightning as well as those severe effects. Notice all the thunderstorms firing at these cloud tops into parts of Georgia through the Charleston area, coastal sections of South Carolina, even down into the southeast part of Alabama. Plenty of action there. Panhandle and parts of Florida dealing with storms as well. Let's take a look at some of these on the radar. Notice we've got a few severe thunderstorm warnings into the upstate of South Carolina. This one for Spartanburg County. It's now off towards the south and southeast of the city. We've also got a few over off towards the west for Greenville and Pickens County. Also Transylvania County into western North Carolina. Carolina, off towards the south and east, I should, south and west of Charleston, really almost due west. Charleston and Colladen counties under a severe thunderstorm warning until 645. Still have that flash flood warning and still have storms around the Charleston area. Flash flood warning includes Charleston, North Charleston and Johns Island. We've already seen reports of cars stranded in water. So watch as you're driving home this evening. You might uh, find that some of your usual roadways that you travel are impassable. Here's that flash flood report from downtown Charleston. So following streets closed due to flooding. Ashley Avenue, Bennett Street, President Street and Line Street. If those are part of your drive home, you're not going to be able to use them. We've seen more reports of flash flooding, but also down trees through that area in South Carolina due to those storms. All right, around Atlanta, notice we've seen a lot of action off towards the south and east of the city. Now seeing a few thunderstorms rolling in from the northwest and even a few rumbles of thunder down near the Marietta area to watch for. Got the rolling stones in concert, Dave, at uh, Bobby Dodd Stadium, so a lot of people hoping these storms stay away from them. Severe thunderstorms into parts of the Charleston area mm -hmm. and some downed trees also reported off to the north and west of the city. Right, and not, that's not the only place where no. this kind of treatment no. is taking place. Hey, welcome back to Weather Center Live. Good to see you. I'm Dave Schwartz along with Alex Wilson. Another active afternoon with storms fired up in the northeast all the way to the southeast, even Florida. We're going to cover all the regions at risk. There's another one in the parts of the... Locals call it May gray or June gloom, but what really causes those overcast and foggy summer mornings along the California coast? Well, it happened yesterday, as you can see in this visible mm -hmm. satellite image, the white hugging the coast. Those are low stratus clouds. It's called the marine layer, and Sam Champion explains just how it works. Well, what was Hurricane Blanca? The moisture from this working into parts of the southwest bringing some really unusual wet weather to parts of Arizona and California. Los Angeles downtown, we've seen a trace of rainfall today. More so off to the west, Santa Barbara, you've seen a few hours of rain at this point as that rain has just been streaming in from south to north. Yuma, Arizona, quarter of an inch today, and that is a record for you. The previous record... It was just a trace set back in 1977. So it goes to show just how unusual the rainfall is this time of year in Yuma. Third wettest June on record now for the city of Yuma. Records began back in 1876. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, not just through Arizona, but also into New Mexico, southern sections of Nevada as well. And in Tucson, you saw 21 hundredths of an inch today, rare for you as well, as June typically is the driest month of the year for Tucson, with only two tenths of an inch on average beat that just today alone. Tomorrow, we'll keep scattered showers and thunderstorms across the Four Corners region. Notice still into Nevada and California as well. By tomorrow night, more of that action into parts of Idaho and Wyoming with the severe weather off towards the east. And even Wednesday night and into Thursday, we'll still have the rain showers. Here's the rainfall totals that we're expecting as we get into Friday. One to two inches generally through some sections of Colorado, including the Denver area, as well as eastern parts of Utah. For much of the West, though, what we're expecting is up to an inch. So not too heavy, but definitely rare for this time of year, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Something very special launched from Hawaii yesterday, and it may be the key to astronauts landing on Mars some donuts. <laughs> he liked it. He liked it. <laughs> but imagine we're going to be landing on Mars. That's crazy. In some reasonably not too distant point. Just uh, amazing. Amazing stuff. And, you know, back on the mainland, smoke from dozens of large Canadian wildfires has been blown into parts of the upper Midwest. And for the most part, it's way in the upper atmosphere, so you're not going to smell it. Right. And it's not